going to discuss about history of the atom. The word atom comes from a Greek word atomos, which means indivisible, that means cannot be divided or cannot be split. This agrees with Dalton's idea of atoms. As Dalton, as you, if you can recall, Dalton defined atoms as small indivisible particles. But atoms can in fact be split or divided. The discovery of, the discovery of atoms can be split into three major eras. Now we have the 400 BC. Now we have the 400 BC. We have the 1800s. We have the 1900s. Now under the 1800s we have the 05, 86, and 97. Under 1900s we have 11, 13, and 32. That means we have 1805, 1886, 1897, we have 1911, 1913, and 1932. Now this arrangement is supposed to help you understand the dates and the discoveries easier. Now under 1800s, for 1805, we have that. I'm going to write this in a vertical, I'm going to write this vertically, that, D-A-T, and this represents Dalton's atomic theory. In 1805, John Dalton put forth the atomic theory. Now under 1886, we have PEG, P-E-G, and that is protons discovered by Goldstein Eugene that is proton Goldstein Eugene so Eugene Goldstein discovered the proton in 1886 now under 1897 we have jet J E C and that is JJ Thompson or you can just say J Thompson electron so in 1897, J.J. Thompson found the electron. Now under 1911, we have we have urn, urn, N.S. Rutherford nucleus. So in 1911, N.S. Rutherford discovered the nucleus. In 1913, that is under 1913. We have bonds, BO for bore, and then N for nail and shells. So we have bore nails, shells. So in 1913, Neil Bohr proposed that electrons are found in shells around the nucleus. Now finally, 32 under 1900, we have Chan. So Chan, Chan, C H A, and then N. So we have Chadwick neutrons. In 1932, James Chadwick discovered the existence of neutrons. To easily remember these discoveries, arrange the dates in ascending order and use the names and discoveries to make mnemonics. Just in case these mnemonics I've given you are not easy for you to understand, you can always make your own and feel free to share your own mnemonics with the rest so that everybody can easily understand.